Welcome back to The Vocalist. I am so excited for today's video. I'm a huge fan of Alison Krauss, so when I was looking for live performances, this one popped up and I have not seen it before. So today we are going to watch Jamie Johnson and Alison Krauss sing Seven Spanish Angels. Here we go. He looked down into her brown eyes, said, say a prayer for me. She threw her arms around him, whispered, God will keep us free. They could hear the riders come. He said, this is my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, they won't take me back alone. There was seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the gun. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne. Seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Hmm. I, oh golly, I feel this might be a short one. Um, it's not until hearing this opening, how am I trying to say this? When I think of um, country singers who share quality vocal qualities of willie nelson um jamie johnson was not the first to come to mind and i imagine you know that of course they have plenty of people paying tribute to him in this particular concert or award show um but he's doing such a great job of emulating some of the things that i feel were almost signature sounds um to willie nelson there's this thinness um to a slight part of his mix as he starts ascending that I love. Obviously, the twang in this is just gorgeous. And not that people don't incorporate, or singers don't incorporate that as, well, yeah, I feel like country singers today maybe don't incorporate as much twang as perhaps they did decades ago. You know, pick a decade. <laughs> so, and I understand, you know, trends change in music um and even more so within every genre so we can't expect that of singers today but it is nice to hear um hear that in this particular piece uh, i don't know okay here we go i want to back it up just to there were a couple of really pretty mixed moments that i also want to point out let me said say a prayer for me She threw her arms around. So when he says she threw, we get this really rich, warm sound. But as as he ascends, he's going into that nice, thin mix. And it's just, ugh, I love it. Whispered. Let me back it up. She threw her arms around. Him. Whispered, God will keep us free. I like that that just tapered off. They could hear the riders come. He said, this is my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, they won't take me back alone. There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. If you look, uh, when, what a great song <laughs> because angels is in the word and when we talk about diphthongs I feel like country singers just rock them um, sometimes it's helpful to stay on one pure vowel as long as possible but in this particular style of music you know we get the angel like he's just going through every sound so luxuriously there was seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun They were praying for the lovers In the valley of the gun When the battle stopped And 
She has got to have one of the most beautiful voices ever, like in the history of the world. It's so gorgeous. It gives me goosebumps every time. Um, let me back it up. I gotta, I always have that moment where you have to just reconcile what you heard. And now I could actually focus. Deadly smoking. Actually, sorry. Here we go. That lay smoking in his head She said, Father, please forgive me I can't make it without my man And she knew the gun was empty And she knew she couldn't win But her final prayer was answered When the rifles fired again when we talk about Mick's voice, <laughs> she is just the queen. There is, where this is in her range, sorry, I'm like, how do I even explain this? Or just gush over it. Where this is in her range, it is high enough that in order to create this nuance, this gentle, delicate, fragile sound, like she started in a pure head voice. But whenever you start to either change in range um, or you want to bring in more press, you're going to start activating different muscles. And the way she continues to incorporate so much head voice in her mix, which is why I would call it a head dominant mix, is stunning. It's just so controlled and it blows me away every time. And I mean, if You've listened to, you know, even just a handful of things from her. You know she can belt. Like, she can wail up there if she wants to because she has the dexterity. But it's so beautiful. I feel like it's a lot easier for many singers to just kind of blast it and belt in this range than it is for them to transition from a head voice into a head dominant mix. I think this is so much more challenging because there's so much... It's a balancing act. You're balancing so much with air and muscle tension and pressure and just everything. And she does it with so much finesse. There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. They were praying for the lovers in the section just a little bit because I know we're close to the end. Also a tribute to Alison Krauss is her collaboration 
skill, I guess we'll say, is next level. I mean, I'm sure they've rehearsed and they worked this out amongst themselves, but just watching how intently, you know, she is like keeping her eyes on his body, but particularly his face so that she can see when he's changing words so that they are just synced up so perfectly. Mm. And, you know, when you think back to uh, in throughout her career, I feel like whatever collaboration, whether it was a duet, a trio, a, a larger group, it was always just, there was so much finesse and skill in, yeah, in, in those moments. And so seeing it here again, I'm not surprised, but also I'm overjoyed to be able to watch it. Obviously, this channel is all about singing and vocals, but let's not forget also what an incredible musician she is when it comes to playing instruments. She's just so incredibly talented, but to have that voice attached to so much talent, it's just, I, I can't, I have no words. It's so, it's so incredible. I'm recording this on a Sunday and it's sunny out. So I feel like I'm just gonna have Alison Krauss on shuffle for the rest of the afternoon. I just, I just adore what she does, but I was so excited to see this performance and to hear them together. I wouldn't say they were necessarily trying to blend their voices, but I also don't think that this song warrants that. I mean, especially if you think about Ray Charles and Willie Nelson. No, you wanna hear their distinct individual tones, uh, but it's, certainly very exciting, you know, to have artists like that collaborate. So in the same way, I love what each of them did individually. And I love, um, I love the fullness of their, you know, duet sound. But yeah, I wouldn't, it's not like we're listening to a choir or like someone who's really seeking perfection within um, harmonies or cutoffs or anything. But they're professionals. Of course, it sounds like they invest. I mean, maybe they did invest a bunch of time in it. But even if they hadn't, you know, the cutoffs were still there. The the even the dynamic levels, I think, were really well balanced. And, you know, as much as a an audio engineer does in a live performance, there's still responsibility on the singer to, you know, sing at a certain level in sound check and then sing at that same level whenever they're in performance so uh, I just yes I I enjoyed this <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time